What's up everybody? It's your favorite ghost here with another guide catered towards newer players, especially on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. You're kind of confused who to maybe pick, what team comps to play, what banners are good to pull on, so on and so forth. Well, in this video, I'm going to break it down and we're going to we're going to talk about the meta comps and how to uh properly pull for them. So, when you have a multi banner like this going on, Everybody shares pity on the PlayStation. Everybody. So right now, if it was me, and it was my first time playing this game, if I wanted to future future uh, proof my team, I would pick up Zeke. Zeke is beyond broken at the moment. Well, he will continue to be for a while. Um, Zeke is a very safe choice. Why? One, he has heals. He has an execute. His whole kit, you only need one copy of him. Anything else, it's not really worth. So go ahead and get yourself a Zeke. Okay, so you say, all right, I got Zeke. Who do I pair him up with? Yulon is actually a great choice right now. Yona, Zeke, Yulon is a great, great team comp gonna future proof you for a bit because Fiona is actually a benediction weapon a healing weapon so supports always last longer um the two main support units used in the end game content for whales Coco and Zero Lyra Fiona sorry that's more than two but from standard it's two so what to do what do you do okay so they share pity but they don't share flame gold okay so if it was me I would want to secure a copy of my Zeke if I pull Zeke early I only need one copy of him I'm gonna either move over to Yulon or start pulling on the Fiona. Make sure you're clicked on Fiona. Because if you get an early Zeke. And you take. Fiona to pity. And you get her on pity. That's two characters and 80 pulls that you got. And that's a good start. Or vice versa with Yulon. Um, but that's one way you can go. I went a different direction on the PlayStation. I decided to pick up Zeke A0. I swiped for Fiona A3 and I picked up Paintbrush Girl. This is the comp that I'm running. The reason why this works so well is because Zeke is actually a very special unit. This is the first time that Zeke or any character can trigger two different elemental resonance so he can trigger physical and fire so that means it would be zeke and a fire character and then you get the um fire resonance which gives you um more attack and more resistance to fire or you can do it with physical so that allows me to run paintbrush fiona and zeke and I've been having a lot of fun. I climbed um, to Bygone 305 today alone. Um, we took fourth. I wasn't going to push anymore. I've been on for 16 hours. Um, but yeah, um, that's the comp I'm running. Okay, so you don't want to pull Zeke. He's really not your thing. You still want to future proof yourself. You want to pull some characters. Fiona. Fiona would be a must pull for any new people. Go and get a copy of Fiona. Why? You can put her in almost any team. Then you could decide if you want to run the new Frost. Yulon. Which is fantastic, by the way. I have her on my global account. Or you can wait. And maybe pull some of the standard characters. 
Um, you could play, you know, grab yourself a copy of Ganono if you want to play physical. Volt, I wouldn't really invest in yet. I would wait for Mimi next. And if you're going to be a Volt player, I would grab one copy of Fiona and just cope with what's on standard at the moment. So, some of the standard pulls, you only get these from golds, okay? The purples, you only get the regular eight beginning SSRs. But let's say you want to be stingy and save all your resources. Saki would be a good choice, which is the heart stream. Ruby. Balmung. Venus and Gurren Blade are all really good standard SSRs that were once limited. Saki needs to be A1. Ruby's, I mean, if you're going to cope with fire, if you're going to play fire, I would pay, I, I mean, I wouldn't even worry about Ruby. I would just grab Paintbrush Girl right now. Um, one copy of Zeke and hold out for the next fire character. Um, Venus is a very good healer. And uh, the Gurren Blade is just a really good buffing weapon. You got to get it to C1. Healers. There's Coco. There's Zero. There's Venus. There's Fiona. There's Lyra. All good support units. If you're Frost and you're like, hey, Zeke's not my thing, you can do what I also did on Global on the PC version. Pull Yulon, Fiona, and Icarus. And I had a lot of fun playing them together. So these are just some of the comps. So if you have no idea who to pull get at least a copy of Zeke don't waste all your resources okay I have a lot of people coming to my stream and this is new to them and I just want to stress that you have plenty of time to figure out who you want to play these banners are going on for 21 more days so three more weeks so do your exploration Save up some resources. Pre uh, trial the weapons. You know you can you can do the trials and figure out what comp you want to play. But if you absolutely have no idea, my two picks would be either Zeke or Fiona. You can always come by the stream, talk to me. I'm a veteran player who's been playing global since it's been released. I stream at Twitch every single day. I am playing global PC and PS5 edition. Come check me out at twitch.tv slash tony 2 ghosts I appreciate everybody for the support. We are almost at a thousand subs on YouTube. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, everyone. That's it for today. I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around until the end. And if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up, sub to the channel, hit that bell mark, get notified anytime we upload a new video. If you want to check me out live, I'll be over on Twitch. The link will be in the description, or you can just follow the URL on screen. Come see some BP in action live. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day.